Senator Sandy Stimson has proposed a ban on selling animals at the flea market after numerous complaints about sick pets. Local 15's Madupe Idowu was at today's Public Safety Committee meeting where those both for and against the new animal cruelty ordinance voiced their concerns. Madupe? Well, Kim, you know, it's all about animal safety or free enterprise. Flea market vendors say a ban on sales will take away jobs, while rescue groups say it will protect puppies and kittens. Sir. Where is the proof? Where is the proof we'll treat mistreating our dogs? It was an emotional public hearing. Mayor Stimson's administration proposed a new animal cruelty ordinance that would ban the sales of animals on public streets and in the flea market. I think it needs to be passed as it is. It comes after complaints of sick dogs and deplorable conditions at the market, most vendors from out of town. I often see puppies that appear to have skin diseases, parasites with big swollen bellies, but thin skin. One by one, breeders, vendors, animal rescues, vets, both for and against, voice their concerns to city council members in the Public Safety Committee meeting. I like some of your values, and one of them is free enterprise. They have no right to take it away. Gary Overman and his wife have been breeding dogs for six years now, and they sell pets regularly at the flea market. He is against the ordinance. I mean, we have our rights to do things, and they want to take away every right we got. We want to regulate everything we do. We got enough of regulation government. Now, we don't need anybody to regulate our pets. But Ruth Stewart is also a breeder and rescues strays. She is for the ordinance and says the pets at the flea market are sold to impulse buyers. Those type dogs are the ones that wind up as an adult being sent back to the shelter for owner surrenders or running it loose in our neighborhoods and then reproducing because the owner is irresponsible and has not had it spayed and neutered. Increasing the stray population and filling up animal shelters, creating a never-ending cycle. One suggestion is to regulate the vendors to make sure the pets are healthy for sale. But some people argue the city does not have the time nor resources to enforce such regulations. Now, no decision was made today. City Council President Gina Gregory says there will be more public hearings and council will decide on what revisions to make to the ordinance, if any. For now, reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Adupe Edo, Local 15 News.